but I paid nine dollars for that juice for a bottle of juice just because the only thing that was in it was juice no sugar no nothing the last cranberry um, juice that I bought so I'm gonna make my own and we're gonna see how it turns out Today we're going to be using this Miyu Lisa 11 liter stainless steel steam juicer. There's a lot of mixed reviews about this juicer, but today we're going to give it a shot. Put your juice or your, your berries go in here and then when that starts steaming, it drips down into here. And this is where you fill your water. You put your, all your water in here and you got to make sure that you don't let it go dry. But this is where the juice is, and then it comes out from this little spigot right here. Have it all go down in the pan, and then I'm gonna jar it up and then can it. We'll see how it goes. in the freezer. Okay, so I have one, two, I've got three, about three and a half bags of these cranberries. I'm gonna put them in a bowl. I'm gonna wash them, rinse them, and then we're gonna steam them. I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in there to help take off any any residue. I'm gonna let these set for about two minutes and then give them a good rinse. Plus with this steamer, I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in to help the water, because I have well water and okay. Back on there, it's starting to bubble a bit. I'm so excited about this. And if this turns out the way I'm hoping that it's going to turn out, I'm going to forever be just buying extra because you know, cranberries go on sale, you know, around after the holidays. They always end up going on sale and you can normally pick them up for like a dollar a bag. So I'm going to be doing that for now on making all my cranberry juice because I don't, I don't really care to add sugar to my cranberry juice. I like my cranberry juice just straight. I like it tart, sour. I like that sourness. And what I will do is I will add or I will mix in some pineapple juice and with my cranberry juice and that sweetens it up just right for me and if it's not sweet enough i just add a little bit of honey okay now, i've seen a lot of people that will just toss their cranberries in without washing them don't do that there's you need to rinse them first. We're going to set our timer because it says that it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to extract all the juices out of the berries. Mm. So this is what's coming out. It's been about an hour. So I'll lift this up real quick. Oh, it's not high enough yet. That's why. <laughs> it's not high enough. All right. We'll put it back in there. Continue working its, doing its thing. It's working. Okay, 
so I figure I better put some water in here. The directions say to make sure that you don't let it go dry. Ooh, hot. Oh yeah, this needed to be refilled. Good thing I checked that. I kind of want to taste it to see what it tastes like. Let's taste it. sour that is that's good I'm so excited mmm the cranberry smells so good what can we do with the leftover cranberry Think about that for a little bit. I bet you I can come up with something yummy. Just gonna dump it right in. Well, got more than what I thought I was gonna get. So this is our cranberry concentrate. Just a little over a pint looks like. No, I think it's gonna, no, nope. pint exactly. So I'm gonna put it back in. See this juice? That means there's more juice. There's a lot more juice in there, see? So I'm gonna run it through again. Run this through one more time. I'm gonna use this pineapple to see how much juice we can get out of this too. I think I'm gonna put it in with the cranberries, with the rest of those cranberries, and we'll have like a pineapple-y, because I mix pineapple and cranberry juice together already, so it's not really gonna matter. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This pineapple is probably overly ripe. Nice and sweet. guys missed it. So I just mixed in the pineapple with the cranberries. And I'm just gonna kind of just mix them in together, I guess. Except for this one right here. This one. Mmm. This is gonna be good. Pineapple cranberry juice. That's really, really good. I didn't put sugar in that. And it's got it's sweet from the pineapple. Okay, I got some black raspberries. Let's put that in there too. We'll just leave the pineapple and the cranberry in there. Okay. That looks nice.
look how dark this is. This is the black raspberry. That'll be really good with some honey or some brown sugar or in some iced tea. Oh my goodness, iced tea. That will be amazing in some sweet iced tea. All oh, this is done because it's not as dark as it was before. <laughs> Pour the rest in here. It smells. It smells like a candy shop in here. So I'm gonna go get some more berries. And I'll be back. This is what's left of the pineapple and the black raspberry. There's not much of anything left in there. Okay, now we're going to do the cherries. size jars so I can have both in quart and pint size. Oop, I messed with that one. Hello if you're new here my name is Rebecca and welcome. Me and my husband Matthew are on our homesteading journey for about three years now trying to grow and raise as much food as possible and make as much food as possible ourselves. And that includes raising chickens and we're currently getting ready to receive our pigs and we're starting a garden. We're gonna be doing a lot of canning. Um, so if this interests you, please give this video a like and you're welcome to follow along. We love to have new new people and I love to chat with people in the comments. I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I feel good about this canning session. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got six quarts of juice. And one, two, three, four, five five pints of juice. Today was a good day. It don't look like much, but this was a full day's work and well worth it. This was a really good start because now I have juice on my shelf. Overall, I really like the steam juicer. I think that it did a good job. I think it all depends on the type of berry that you use how much juice you're gonna get. Like I got a lot of juice from like the black raspberries and the cherries, but not so much, you know, from the cranberries. But cranberries aren't like juicy, you know, like that. You're gonna need a lot of cranberries. So this was very easy to use, very easy to clean. I will be using this from now on to make my juices. And I'm just excited that I have juice on my shelf. I'm excited to, you know, experiment with all the different types of juices I can make. So, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope everyone has a very blessed day. Bye.